Today, our amazing time in Newfoundland was coming to a close. We had arrived on the southwest side of the island via ferry and traveled all the way across Newfoundland to the eastern shores. It has been one of our favorite travels to date. We are now heading to the ferry to embark on the 16-hour journey back to Nova Scotia. Uh, propane. Propane. Yeah. Have any tanks? Uh, one. So just make sure it's turned off and yep. tagged by 3.30. Okay. Okay, now what is this interesting little here? It this is... is new. The plant... Quarantine inspection station. Oh. Soil, potatoes, burlap bags, but may not be taken out of Newfoundland. Okay, so we get a spray down leaving Newfoundland because they don't want soil or anything leaving Newfoundland. <laughs> You just drive super slow. Oh no, well then it cleans. Go really slow. Free car wash! <laughs> okay folks, we have now been on a couple of ferry rides, but I'll tell you, um, I'm used to it now, but I did find it a little bit different when I first was doing a ferry. I mean, I think I did them when I was little, I just don't remember. So uh, let me just show you what it's like. Once you get to the ferry port, um, people, you always get put into a lane, um, just sort of based on the size of your vehicle and whatnot. Um, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like because essentially you have to be at the ferry a few hours before the ferry sails. It does take them an hour or so to load everybody, so you do start loading sooner. But in those hours before where people show up early, it kind of becomes like a little temporary campground. People put their chairs out, they drink, they might have lunch, play cards. Some people put their slides out and their stairs out on their RVs. They will get out and stretch and walk around. And I'm just going to give you a little glimpse of sort of what it's like. It's almost like a mini tailgate party without the football game and the beer. <laughs> So we are here at the Argentia Ferry Terminal, which is near Placentia or in Placentia, Newfoundland. So we're taking the long ferry back. Here there is a terminal building apparently, um, washrooms, I don't believe there's a cafeteria, um, but there is something you can get out and walk around. And as you can see, most of the lanes were car lanes, um, are separate from all the RV lanes. So yeah. We're just going to enjoy our uh, couple hours here before we start loading up. Once your lines start moving, make sure you have your boarding pass ready because they do you one last check before we get on the boat. It's a gorgeous day to actually hop on the ferry. It's nice blue skies, so the seas look happy. So we might get a few, uh, a few hours of daylight still as we uh, head out. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited because our last one, when we crossed over in the short ferry, um, we got on like 11.30. So we basically went right to bed and we woke up and we were in Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. Where now we've got a couple hours, going to have some supper, have a good night's sleep. Yeah, we can check out the scenery on the way out. And hopefully I'm bringing the binoculars, hoping for some wildlife mm -hmm. sightings, some marine life, maybe a whale or seals or something on the way out. So for sure. Yeah. We're in our berth that we have for the next 16 hours. It was actually, it's a berth for four. I think you can get them for uh, two people or four people. Two people weren't available. Anyway, it's great because it's the bunk style again, like it was on our first ferry. However, um, we just get these up and out of the way. So the top bunks actually nicely just fold up there on hydraulics. So easy. You can really tell already this is a brand new boat we can't wait to get out and explore we have really cute so we don't have a window this time but we have this nice picture very daylight feeling there's a small little desk there's way more plugs way more plugs than on the first ferry we have this cute little chair here and this desk there's another little area over here that has a spot to put things and a tv 
on the wall there. Um, there's a small little spot to hang things and there's a couple hooks uh, that you can use there as well. And I haven't even looked in the bathroom yet. Oh gosh, okay. So very similar to the last ship, but you can tell everything is brand new. There's lots of space. There's a nice lip for the shower. I know, oh, nice shower head. Oh, I'm gonna have two showers. One's happening tonight and one's happening tomorrow morning. Anyway, this is spectacular. I cannot wait to get out and show you guys the rest of the ship because just walking to our berth, it looks pretty top notch. Okay, let's go explore and make sure that we catch the um, leaving port. Well, we have set sail, we're off. They run a pretty tight ship. We were supposed to leave at five. It's about 10 after five and uh, we've been rolling for about a couple of minutes. The scenery as you're leaving here is spectacular. What we've seen of this new ship so far is unbelievable. We've only walked through and put our stuff in our berth, but we will take a more in-depth tour later inside. It literally smells like a new car. This ship is so nice. Highly recommend already from what we've seen. Inside, the ship had a sophisticated feel with ample space and seating. There was a bar, a restaurant, cafe, a lounge area, and even live music. came to the restaurant on board which is called Sage. Uh, they are only open until 9 p.m. It's around 8. They have tons of availability. We got here and we got a window seat. Beautiful. Like check this place out. It's really really nice. First of all, <laughs> open sea. We are we are definitely on the open sea side. There's a bit of a sunset happening on the other side that we'll try not to miss. But. It's a pretty great restaurant. There's not really a bad seat in the house. There's certainly lots of windows looking out the front of the ship. It's spectacular. We've ordered. And our wine's coming up right now. Okay, oh, the meals come fast. So they're obviously pre-prepared in the back, which is great. Um, Mitch has got the salmon, the pecan crusted salmon, and he's gone with the sweet potato fries with the curry mayo. I have got the cod with Brussels sprouts and uh, mashed potatoes. So let's see how the ship food is. I think it's going to be great. Okay, the salmon looks great. Hmm. It's pecan crusted. It's delicious. Oh yeah. The salmon's cooked. Nicely. Oh, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. So I'm going to be perfectly honest. It's a little bit dry now. Um, even though know, it's been sitting under a warmer, it's not quite hot enough. So, um, but it's, I mean, it was $20 for this. So it's not the best, but you know what? It's a nice restaurant for a ferry. I didn't even expect to have this as an option. I thought we'd have to eat pizza or burgers or hot dogs. So, yeah, let's go eat. Awesome. Cheers. Babe, it's beautiful. Beautiful sunset. It's a little, <laughs> little chilly, but still very beautiful. A little breezy. Yeah. Well, let's talk about our evening. We had a great evening. Oh my lord. For a 16 hour crossing. It feels like it took no time at all. Slept like eight and a half hours, and we're arriving at port in, I don't know, like 15 minutes. Okay, so let's go check out some of the places that, that you we, could. Yes. 
so we did get a cabin but we we're just gonna check out because they have these big rooms that look like quiet rooms with reclining chairs they look like sort of your premium economy airline seats um, in these quiet rooms so we're gonna go and see just how far they recline too close to the door this big sort of quiet room and there's TVs there okay. so oh they've got a reading light you even have your lights nice cup holder just not sure how to operate this yet <laughs> okay, okay. So. I mean not terrible if you didn't book a cabin no you can you could definitely sleep here and you have a little tray I think that folds out okay okay nice. laptop work whatever laptop for sure okay okay no, that's cool these are all the points you can get muffins there and coffee and some uh, simple breakfast sandwiches like I just saw them, sort of pre-made ones, but they look good, fruit bowls and yogurt. All right, so a couple facts about this brand new ship. Um, passenger capacity is a thousand, pretty crazy. They have 146 cabins. They have the four berth cabin like you saw that we had. You can also get a two berth cabin or you can get like, I think they call it a deluxe cabin with a queen size bed, more room and all of that kind of stuff, which looks pretty cool. Um, they have 31 designated cabins for pets, which is awesome and 40 passenger pods which i think might be new because our last ship didn't have the pods and it's sort of like maybe like a little hostel you go into a room and there's like four bunk beds and i think you just rent a bunk bed not sure how much those are but uh that's also an option which is pretty cool okay friends we're disembarking in nova scotia <laughs> it's a sad day newfoundland is now behind us yeah, I mean, I guess it officially kind of ended yesterday, but this feels like the very end. Yeah. Um, however, we are not done with the East Coast, no. even though this truly wraps up our Newfoundland series. If you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't watched the rest of the Newfoundland series or our other ferry ride, those films are also available. Um, but we're not done on the East Coast. We are going to hang out in Nova Scotia for a bit. Well, thank you very much for watching and um, we'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.